Well, welcome. It is Friday evening on Memorial Day weekend. My plan is to brew a porter tomorrow, a five gallon batch. I've got my packet of yeast here. The thing I need to do tonight is get a starter going. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk through the equipment that I, I use to make what is technically called kind of a shaken, not stirred vitality starter. So a quick run through of the equipment and ingredients that I'm gonna to use to make a starter. One, we've got our pack of yeast. This is just a standard uh, White Labs pack that's got, you know, technically uh, on a good day, 100 uh, billion cells. Um, we're really just looking to get those cells awoke up and ready to pitch. Uh, I've got some dried malt extract. I'm using Pilsen Light, but you could use any dry malt extract. Dry malt extract is a little easier than uh, liquid just as far as weighing it out. Um, I've got some some yeast uh, nutrient as well. Uh, it's kind of an optional thing. It's probably, it's not really needed, especially when using a fresh pack of, of yeast, but I'll throw a little bit in there just to maybe give a little boost. As far as equipment, we've got a, um, this one gallon jug. I bought this at the homebrew store. Um, the one they came, particularly came with, with had a lid with a grommet for a stopper. Um, just a, a, a large jar with uh, a, a lid you could put on loose would work fine well and maybe even a little better. Got a bottle of Star Strand, so definitely important uh, to keep things sanitary. I measured out, we're gonna do a one liter starter, so I measured out a liter of filtered water. I've got a small saucepan, just big enough to, uh, just standard old kitchen one, just needs to be big enough to hold the water. Uh, I've got scissors are going to be important to open. You need to make sure those are sanitized, open up the, the pack. So the thermometer here is handy both for keeping an eye on boil overs and then it's also important um, as we cool the wart down uh, to make sure we're down to a good safe pitching temperature. We've got a small kitchen scale here so we're going to measure out uh, our, our DME in this case, we're doing, since we're doing a one liter starter, we've got 100 grams of dry malt extract. Um, the other thing here, I've got this one liter um, flask. I'm not gonna use it today. That's what I originally uh, used to make starters with. Uh, the downside of the, the good thing about these, these one, one liter ones is that they're fairly inexpensive. The downside is you're limited to right about 600, 650 or so. Uh, milliliters of uh, starter, but we're going to do one liter, which is pretty close to being about 5% of a five gallon batch. We're going to go ahead and measure out our starter or dried malt extract for our starter. Again, we're going to need 100 grams of dried malt extract. Uh, so the biggest challenge with this is trying to not get powder all over the place. 100, all right. So one liter water is just starting to heat up. I just turned off the heat. We don't want the flame going while we're trying to mix this in. So I like to add it if you find it works best if you at least heat up the water a little bit. But you don't want to get till you're up to boiling because then you got all that steam coming off. Um, it tends to cake up the dry malt extract. All right, so I got the thermometer in there. Kind of keep an eye on it. It just started to come up to a boil, so I'm gonna go ahead and reduce the heat. I'm gonna go ahead and let it boil. Just needs five or 10 minutes. Um, whether it needs to boil at all, it's kind of you know, questionable. Everything should be sanitized, but I figure the heat steam, you know, at least getting, getting the whole pot all nice and uh, sanitary. So I forgot to add the yeast nutrient with the, so we're gonna do that now. One thing I watch out, sometimes when you add this, it does a little bit of a, you can cause it to foam up like that. So keeping an eye on it. I used to do that several times. Um, I would add it into the boiling um, wort in the flask and it would come out and it would make a mess. All right, so our 10 minute timer is up. We're gonna go ahead and turn off the heat. I've got the sink filled with a little bit of cold water. I'm gonna go ahead and move this guy. Over there. Ooh. All right, so now we're gonna just move this around a little bit, try to cool it off a little, and try to get it down to pitching temperature. So what, basically what I'm gonna do, let this, uh, let this cool water knock it down, 
you know, probably 160, 140 or something, and then uh, get it in a ice bath to knock it down the rest of the way. All right, I started a timer, so we're, a little, we're less than four minutes into it. So one option would be just to set it and walk away and some ice. What I've kind of been doing is just, you know, shaking the pot a little bit, stirring the, the water. So the water's starting to warm up. We're down to about 1.30. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it into some other. Um, I'll go ahead and throw some ice in here. Keep it nice and cold. And now the most important part, they wouldn't call it shaken, not stirred if you didn't do some shaking. All right, so I went ahead and set a timer for about, for a minute. So I found it's about what we need. So basically we just want to shake the bejesus out of this sucker. Get a lot of foam, get a lot of air up there. Get it well oxygenated. Good. Working up a sweat. All right, so there's our one minute timer. That's what I'm looking for. It's a lot of air in there. All right, so we have a sanitized pack of yeast. What we should be able to do, usually with these, is to squeeze out the inner pack. Shake this guy up a bit. So I got a yeast in there, trying to get that. Got a quick shake, get that all mixed up in there. Um, go ahead and put our airlock on place. All right, now we're just gonna leave that in a uh, reasonably warm place. So right now it's about midnight. So I think it's been about four hours since I got this started. We're not, you don't see much. I see a little bit, little signs of some bubbles. Um, I'm seeing a little bit, you know, movement in the airlock activity. Well, good morning. It is Saturday morning, brew day. This is exactly what we want to see. Uh, we've got a lot of nice activity going on in our starter. He's bubbling away. Um, so again, so it's been it's been about 12 hours since we made the starter. Um, I'm going to get some beer going. So it's going to be another five hours or so, and we'll pitch this in a wort, and hopefully the wort will be bubbling away um, by this evening. So it is now Saturday, so it's about one o'clock. Just finished brewing a, a batch of beer, a five gallon batch of an English porter this morning. And our uh, yeast starter is exactly what we want to see. We've got lots of good activity. I'm seeing bubbling. So, and our beer is down to pitching temps. So now we're gonna go ahead and Sanitize around the rim. This, like this. I'm gonna get. Not too worried about a little bit of star sand getting in there because we don't want a, you know, a ton, but. I'm gonna make sure we get that lid. Let's see if we can pull this off without breaking it. All right, we don't really need that. All right, so that should be, just let that set for just a minute and then we'll get ready to pour it into the beer. All right, there's our batch of uh, porters chilled down. Looks like it's at about 66 degrees right now, which is good. Our yeast starter here, make sure we get that all. Go ahead and pitch that entire thing right on in there. That was about one liter of uh, starter material. So it is now Sunday. So I think it's about 26, 28 hours after we pitched the yeast. I haven't, I left, I haven't been home. So we're gonna peek in and see what is going on with the yeast and the beer. All right, well, that's a good sign. We zoom in there. We see lots of uh, nice bubbles on the top. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out so I can get a little better look and see how the yeast is doing. 
So here's the results of the shake and not stirred starter that was pitched. I think it was about 20, uh, 26, 28 hours ago. This is uh, Sunday afternoon. Let's go ahead. We've got a nice, uh, well formed head, lots of bubbles. I don't have an airlock, so we can't see activity. Look at that. When we look at, when we shine some light on that, let's look at the yeast chugging away there. Nice, healthy fermentation. So, exactly what what we want to see at this point.